So uh, I have a lot of content and a, a very short amount of time. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to be talking about today is uh, something that is very concerning for uh, the work that I do. So I work on Prometheus, uh, just like Gautam, um, and uh, we ship that to our customers. So it has to be really, really secure. Um, and that's a, that's a problem because in, in the Prometheus world, we just say, uh, Security is your 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 job. We don't care about it. Uh, you do it. Um, so, but when I sell this to customers, it needs to be secure. Um, and when Prometheus scrapes all of these metrics, they may, might have sensitive information. So, for example, the node exporter that we have exposes the kernel version, which obviously for an intruder would be quite interesting uh, for further exploitation. Uh, so, how do we uh, uh, make sure that only Prometheus uh, can access this? Um, and obviously, we need some sort of uh, authentication and authorization mechanism. Um, and I looked at um, how uh, some of the examples within uh, Kubernetes all, uh, already do this. And uh, it turns out the API server and the kubelet already do the stands uh, that I basically want to copy. So the kubelet, whenever I, as Prometheus, um, request metrics from the kubelet, it uh, verifies that I'm actually Prometheus. So that's the authentication part. And it's that it does that by either a client certificate or a service account token. And uh, then the authorization part is what we all know as RBAC. Um, and the specific uh, API call it does here is called the subject access review. Um, so the way that uh, then works in the Kube RBAC proxy, which is the project that I'm presenting here, uh, is that uh, it sits in front of my uh, application that serves the metrics. And um, it does this. So, uh, this example is with the service account token. So the token review API is to verify that um, this is actually a user that exists, and then I get the user information in my proxy, and then I, then I ask, is this user allowed to access this information? And when I get, get back that it is indeed allowed to, then uh, I actually pr proxy this request, and um, Prometheus gets all these metrics. So. Um, authorization can look uh, to, like two things. So one is resource-based. So when we talk about uh, actual resources in Kubernetes, so can I access a service or uh, a non-resource URL, which is just like any any URL? And as it happens, um, the metrics endpoint uh, f falls into this. Or uh, something interesting, what some Helm people are actually doing is using this to authenticate uh, Helm Helm requests. Um, so let me give you a, sh a quick demo of this. So I have. Um, a deployment of the kube RBAC proxy, and it needs to do the token review and the subject access review, and it's configured with a config map. And uh, as we can see here, I'm uh, authenticating based on a resource, and I'm checking whether uh, Prometheus is allowed, or the, the, whatever the requesting um, entity is, whether that entity is allowed to proxy through that service. So this could also be used for um, user user-facing applications, um, but we'll get to that later. And then in the deployment, I just um, do some normal setup of any, any proxy, really. So um, let me go ahead and deploy that. And we have that uh, up and running. And now I also create my client, um, which is just uh, an Ubuntu container that I'm starting, and now I'll exec into that. Uh, so I'm now in there, and uh, I, uh, I request the um, endpoint, and I get unauthorized, because I haven't even uh, presented my service account token. Um, so it says I'm not even authenticated. Uh, so I do that, and I get forbidden because I don't actually have uh, the, the, I'm not allowed to access this. But if I give it the actual permissions, which uh, we can see here, um, that I'm giving my service now, uh, services, get services slash proxy, because that's the sub resource uh, that I required it to have. And when I do that, and run this again, I am actually allowed to um, access this. So within my last 15 seconds, um, so some feature work includes uh, using the token review API. So right now, uh, it's actually not super secure uh, to use the service account tokens because the 
Um, token can be used to impersonate uh, the requesting entity, and with, uh, with the token request API, you can specify an audience so it can't be used to authenticate against the API server, for example. Um, some, and some uh, unprivileged access uh, reviews so that uh, my uh, entity doesn't actually need any uh, RBAC for this. And uh, human authentication mechanisms like OAuth or uh, OIDC, because only machine authentication is possible today. Thank you.